What is a maintenance clean on a toilet and how do you do it? That's a great question and we're going to talk about that today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is brought to us by Savvy Cleaner Training and we train house cleaners and maids how to start their own house cleaning companies and how to clean. And now we train Airbnb owners how to do their own cleaning and their own turnover service. Today, we're going to show the homeowner how to do a maintenance clean. Now, first of all, what is a maintenance clean? All right, a maintenance clean is after you've already got all the hard water stains and the lime scale and the rust and everything out of your toilet. So there are no toilet bowl rings. It's a pretty clean toilet and you're just going to maintain it. So we don't need really strong and harsh chemicals to do a maintenance clean. But what we do need is we need to do it on a regular basis. So today I'm going to show you on two toilets how to do a maintenance clean. Now one toilet does have a toilet ring in it. So the very first thing that we're going to do before we go in to clean any toilet is we're going to do a once over. And the once over is going to let us walk into the bathroom and we're going to look all around the bathroom and we're going to look at the pictures on the walls and see if they have dust on them and see if there are rings in the toilet and all these things. Because if there are rings in the toilet, we're going to let the toilet stuff sit for a minute while we clean the rest of the bathroom. And if it's a maintenance clean and there's not any rings in the toilet, we'll go ahead and we'll just do the whole process at once. All right, so the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to walk into the bathroom and we're going to assess our cleaning supplies. Now, as we walk into the bathroom, I have set my cleaning caddy right inside the door so that it's within reach of the toilet. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look on both sides of the toilet to see if there are any baskets or sprays or anything that could get over spray from the toilet because that all needs to be dusted and wiped down. Now, if this is a maintenance clean, you will have dusted those and wiped those down on a regular basis. So there should not be a lot of buildup. What we're also looking at is we're looking at the wall and the floor behind and around the toilet because we're going to wipe that down as well. We just want to make sure that there's nothing back there that shouldn't be there. Toys, socks, junk, whatever. Okay. We just want to make sure that we know what's back there. All right. Now, as we look around, there are dust on the pictures and we will dust those. But first, as we look into this toilet, there's a toilet ring, which it's been a couple of weeks since this toilet has been cleaned. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a paste of cleanser. Now, the cleanser that we're going to use today is Comet. And this is a common cleanser that you can find in any drugstore or grocery store or Walmart or whatever. It's readily available in the United States. In other countries, it has a different name, but there are all different kinds of cleansers like Bonami and Barkeeper's Friend, different kinds of cleansers, but this is a powder cleanser. And you can tell by the top of it that there's a little shaker where you can just shake that into the toilet. So the very first thing that we're going to do on this toilet that has the ring in it is we're going to turn the water off. And as we turn the water off at the back of the toilet, that allows us to flush the toilet and all the water is going to dwindle so that it's not up as high as the ring. This lets the ring dry out a little bit so that we can put a paste on there and scrub it around. All right, so we're going to put a few shakes of the cleanser inside the toilet. Then we're going to take the toilet brush. This is the toilet brush that we're going to use. This is just a regular, generic, inexpensive toilet brush that has another piece on it that goes up and underneath the rim of the toilet. So we are going to use whatever toilet brush is at the customer's toilet or if it's, you're the homeowner at your own toilet. So whatever toilet brush you have there will work for the maintenance clean. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a little paste and we're just going to brush the cleanser around the inside of the ring. Then we're going to let it set for about two minutes while we clean the rest of the bathroom. All right, the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our all purpose spray and we're going to spray the toilet tank, the handle, the tank itself, behind the toilet seat, the toilet lid, underneath the toilet lid, the toilet seat itself, underneath the toilet seat, the rim around the toilet, the base or the bowl of the toilet on the outside. And as we work our way back around to the back of the toilet, and that little area where you can see the plumbing and the pipes, we're going to hit the wall and the corners of the room and the flooring because this is just an all purpose cleaner and we have a tile floor. So this is going to be completely innocent and completely harmless to all the stuff around the toilet, but it's going to pick up any overspray or any dust or any hair or anything that's behind that toilet area. We're going to do that on both sides of the toilet. 
Then we're going to take our paper towels and we're going to use one paper towel on one side and we're going to wipe down the top of the toilet tank, wiping with a corner of the tissue that we haven't used yet, the toilet handle itself. Then we're going to wipe down the toilet tank, the area behind the toilet seat, the toilet lid, the inside of the toilet lid, the toilet seat, the underneath side of the toilet seat, the rim of the toilet, the basin of the toilet or the bowl on the outside of the toilet. And as we work our way back around the toilet, we're going to hit the wall and the area around the floor. And so now we're going to turn our paper towel inside out so that now we're using a clean part of the paper towel for the floor and the area around the toilet. So we've used two sides of our paper towel, which is pretty good economy, right? So now we're going to wipe our way out and around the toilet with one paper towel. We're going to take our second paper towel and we're going to spray our all-purpose cleaning solution on it. And we're going to wipe down, if necessary, all of the things that are around the toilet. This might be the toilet paper holder, or in this particular case, there are some sprays and there are some wipes and things like that. First, we're going to dust the little shelf that it's on because it's a wire rack. Then we're going to wipe whatever is down that has a solid surface. So now that we've cleaned the area around the toilet, the last thing we're going to do is take the same paper towel, spray some more all-purpose cleaner on it. We're going to clean the outside of the plunger and we're going to clean the inside of the toilet bowl holder. Now, a lot of people miss this. And if you miss this, when you put your toilet brush back in here, it will pool up and it will create a little pool of bacteria water. So what we want to do is we want to clean that out as well so that's nice and clean. And as we flushed our toilet, we gave our toilet brush a nice little shower. And now as it goes back in, it's nice and clean and ready for our next use. If you keep your toilet brush holder clean, then every time you go to use it, you have a nice clean toilet brush to clean out your toilet. See, that's so easy, right? All right, now on the other toilet, we're going to do the exact same process. This time is a little different. There is a floor mat in front of the toilet next to the bathtub. The very first thing that we're going to do, and we always do this no matter what, whether it's our own personal home or whether it's a customer's home, we remove that rug because if we don't remove it and we get something on it, we have to replace it. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the shower curtains and tuck them inside the shower so that again, we don't splash anything out and ruin the shower curtains. All right, we're going to repeat the same process. And as we do, we're going to clean the toilet. Now, this one does not have a ring inside it because we did our once over and we see that there is no ring. Since there's no ring, we're going to go ahead and just start on the entire process where we scrub the toilet out with a few shakes of the cleanser inside the toilet. Once the few shakes are in there, we're going to scrub the toilet out and we're going to go up again underneath the rim using the other side of the brush. We want to get all of those little tiny round areas where water comes through and it turns a little bit black. We want to get all of that on the inside with this brush here. And then we want to go down into the depths of the toilet with the bigger part and scrub around. And then as we come out, we want to go all the way around where a ring might be, right? Okay, so now the toilet is nice and clean and we're going to go ahead and wipe it down just like we did in the other bathroom. Then we're going to wipe down all of the things around the toilet, which is the floor, the baseboards, the walls, everything that's around the toilet. And then we're going to wipe down all of the books, magazines, sprays, anything else that's around the toilet. All right, now that this is done, we're going to fold the toilet paper in a little triangle. Now, the reason that we do this as professional house cleaners is because it's a signal to us this toilet or this bathroom has been cleaned. And so as the next house cleaner, if you're working in teams, comes through and they see the toilet paper is folded, they're going to give you a thumbs up and say, okay, this, the other house cleaner has already cleaned this toilet. Now, as you clean 10, 20, 15 toilets in the course of a day, sometimes you think you've already cleaned one because you go to that house on a regular basis. And if you're not paying very close attention, the corner of the triangles is your cue that yes, in fact, you were in here and everything looks amazing. Also, when you leave the toilet, the customer comes in and the first thing they see is the cue that yes, the toilet area has been cleaned and it signals to them that yes, in fact, your toilet area is clean. I do want to make one note and as a by a byproduct of the very last thing that we did, since this is a little toilet room with a door, after we were completely cleaning the area, we opened the door and went behind the door to get any hair or dust or anything that could have built up on the back of the door 
the baseboards and the corner where the door meets the wall. Because when someone is sitting on the toilet, what they're going to see is any junk that's there. So you want to make sure the area is super nice and clean. All right, now your toilet area is really nice and clean. And this is how you do a maintenance clean for a home or an Airbnb or your customer if you are a professional house cleaner. This is what we call a maintenance clean on a toilet. All right, I hope that helps you a little bit. I hope this was fun for you and it was easy enough that you can understand all the different elements of it. And the more you practice, the faster you get to the point where you can clean a whole entire toilet area room in about two and a half minutes. I know, it's pretty awesome. And then the toilet area is always nice and welcoming. All right, I hope that helps. If it does, please pass this along. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it. Oh, <laughs> oh,